Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up a scene in Cinema 4D for saving in Photoshop PSD file so that you can come over into Photoshop, change the background colour and also change object Also, how to change object color colors as well. Okay, so you see, changing that quite all in Photoshop without having to go back into Cinema 4D. Okay, so I'll just close that up. Go back into Cinema 4D. Right, so here we are in Cinema 4D. We've got our scene set up. Okay, we basically it's just a selection of extrude nerves with the caps on and then spline text, object underneath them, splining, everything controlled in here. Okay, I'll just lift this up a little bit. Okay, so first off what we need to do is add some composition tags yeah okay, so right click and then select composition same again for PSD right click down composition same again for chain over composition okay go back up what we need to do then is an enable buffer object okay for Photoshop for the how to save the PSD, enable, rename it to number two because it's another object so obviously it needs to have a different uh, name assigned to it for cinema cinema 4D to be able to work its magic okay, buffer number three okay, so that's us all set and then we go into the palette, oh damn I didn't think I should have done that okay, I'll just fetch this over here okay, in save, we don't need to fill anything in here okay but we do need to select alpha channel, make sure we're alpha channels. I'll just deselect that and just deselect that. Okay, so we don't need anything in here, okay? Because we're not going to save it as anything out of here, alright? Because it doesn't work. Transparency, we cannot change the background. Only if you change it as PNG, but then you don't get control over the objects, which defeats the whole object of this tutorial. Okay, so we just leave that blank. What we do is we select multi pass. Okay, and then we click save. Okay, and then we browse to where we're going to save it. Save it where we're going to save. Okay, I'll just cancel out the because I've already pre done it. Okay, ensure that multi layer file is selected and also ensure straight alpha isn't. Okay, and then what you need to do is right click right click on the multi pass and you need to add each one of these elements okay so RGB image then the three object buffers ambient occlusion diffuse specular shadow and reflection we have to add those because we have them added here in our materials manager okay as materials here yeah? So that's them, and one last thing before we go is we need to make sure that each one of these object buffers starting at the top corresponds, this number here corresponds with the number here, okay? So that's object buffer one, which is the top one for Photoshop, object buffer two, number two, okay, for this lesson, okay, number two there, object buffer. Number three, yeah, and then number three, I've pre done that, so it, it would be number one. Um, so you just have to push up and number three, either with the arrows or just put your arrow in, number three, click enter, there you go. Yeah, so that's our multi pass set up. Yeah, we've set it where we want to save it. Okay, we've added the elements that we need. Okay. I think just check out on the air listen, okay, on the best, yeah, okay, and still image, okay, that's as good to go.
in Cinema 4D, we're good to save out. Yeah, so if I just close that up, yeah, save our project first. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to click on the middle clapboard, render board, okay, render it to picture viewer. Okay, I need to say yes there because I had a file already saved. I'll just delete these out of here. Well, that's saving. Okay, now if we click on our layers, okay, I'll just, just bring that down a little. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There's all our elements that we selected: our reflection, ambient, shadow, specular, diffuse, background, alpha, object one, object two, object buffer three. Okay. A single pass, multi pass, yeah, everything that we need. All right, that's just sorted. So I'll just close out that and I'll just quickly, 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 quickly. Our bridge isn't working. file is which is this one here yeah and we'll open that up in photoshop just give photoshop a minute to just do its magic you might not get it set up but i haven't got any color profiles embedded yeah and here we go here we go here's all our layers reflection ambient see it's got its own Mask it on. Effects. Here, yeah, going to our channel. Is our RGB image. So Photoshop is spewing. Photoshop spewing. I'll just give it a minute to sort itself out. Sometimes it does this for some reason. I don't know why views for a minute, there we go, there's our alpha, click that on, there we go, I want to change the colour, just go in here, okay, changes the colour for us, anything you want, so if you work on a project you could put your RGB, okay, that's how we change the background now for the front part, Okay, we click control on Windows, it'll be uh, yeah, control on Windows and then click the object buffer once. But um yeah. just deselect that again, alright, just control, click the object buffer and you get these little lines round, okay? And we go back into our layers panel. Sorry, Photoshop's not acting as it should be acting. Um, damn, damn, da damn, damn, damn. Come on. and then what we do is add a U and a saturation layer and then what we do is we screw up and how cool is that we're actually changing the colour of it ok and then we just click back on channel we come down control object buffer 2 back into layers new U saturation layer yeah slider there we go moving out there we go moving the colour of it 
So then you get back in the channel. Yeah, down, control, click, object buffer three, back into layer, new, new saturation, yeah, change the color of it, do whatever you want, okay, there you go, back into channel, okay, enable alpha, okay, just close it down. Okay, double click, and then set your background to whatever you want. Okay, let's put here a nice shade of green. Nice shade of green. I like green. Green's a nice colour. Peaceful. Very peaceful colour. Okay, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay, and that's how we set up our scene in Cinema 4D. Okay. Set up our multi saving. Just save it. Remember alpha channel and then we have to we have to enable multi-pass and then fill the details in. Then we right clicked, added all these elements here. To it, okay. Then we rendered it to picture viewer, and then we opened it up in Photoshop, and we changed everything as we wanted it. Okay, I hope this has helped you. I uh, do my head in this, working this out, uh, but this is much, much more fun than saving it as a PNG file and altering it in photo in fireworks or Photoshop or whatever. You got more control. You still keep all your shading. Uh, and everything and if you had lights added in here as well you could actually control the lights as well but that's for another tutorial at a later date okay i hope you've enjoyed this and you've learned something from it and you've enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it okay till next time okay thank you bye